That's how you do it guys, just like that, right? Real easy. Bip, 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 bip. Watch out, come through. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Watch out, bobbin head, you'll get a paddle on the head. <laughs> Grab it. <clears throat> well, that's a bit of fun, isn't it? Through a slalom. First time ever in a canoe for me, let alone a kayak. Really good fun. As I was saying before, it's really hard to pick the channels in this particular area. Flat and dried out, you've got little islands dotted all over the place, rapids going everywhere, and it's hard to pick what is the deepest natural course of the river. As opposed to just a little side alley. Want to get obviously the deeper parts from the point of view of having uh, deeper water, not bottoming out. And then obviously not getting caught in a tight little neck that you can't even get through. So. But it does add a lot of speed to your trip, which is nice. So that's the upside. Just coming up on another set of rapids here, but I can't see once again the natural line and there's quite large rock slabs everywhere. I might actually pull over to a rock face here, get out and have a boat peep, see if we can work out they use this line through rather than just hoping for the best and smashing into a whole lot of rocks. Well, I'm glad I stopped and had a look. That is a great big mess. <clears throat> there's an option of coming down through this little chute here, uh, just to the right of a little bush on the far side and try and avoid this boulder just in here. It's a big fat boulder. Or I sneak down through the trees here. So I'm going to have a quick look over this way and see if there's a, a gap through those trees because it comes around nice and smoothly here and out we go. So you can see here, that's the top of that chute on the ledge. <coughs> the rock faces are going out around there. That is a bit too squarely to get a canoe through. I'm just going to line it down, and try and go around that chute, pull it into the left here somewhere, or in through here over the rocks, just lift it up and over. So we'll try that. Canoe's tucked up in around here, so we'll get onto that right now. Well, here we are again lining canoes. Last time the water was too shallow, now it's too deep. Luckily, once again, we've got a nice warm day, nice warm water, we're not freezing here. Key is that is to keep safe. I'm out of here all by myself. No cellular coverage, no phone coverage at all. <clears throat> so if something goes wrong here, I'm in a bit of a spot of bother. So I've got to be play the safe card and not just try and uh, go for it down rivers and down rapids <clears throat> and hope for luck because if I run out of that I'm in a whole lot of bother I'm floating down a river by myself so just got to play it nice and safe all right well that's the worst of it Let's see if we can pick some easier lines through here now section try and keep the bow up avoid a rock
sure what these sections are like when it's down a lot in the weather. 1.35 metres this morning. <coughs> Must be just a whole lot of bunch of gravel races, I'd expect. But at least we're racing over these sections, which is a good thing. Well, we got a pretty gnarly section here. Comes roaring through the stomach here, through the outside leg, but then there's a whole lot of strainers here. I'm trying to work out a path. Once we get into this mess, do we go to the right? Do we go to the far side? Or will we get caught up under trees? So just trying to work that out now. We're gonna to have to walk down and have a look at the other side of here, see what all comes through. But it looks like this inside run might be the go. But yeah, pretty gnarly. Not liking this at all. The centre section has a whole bunch of rocks here. We really need to be getting out right here and then coming through that eddy and back out through here somehow. So I'm going to have, to have another look at this from the top. This is very ugly and I'll be honest, this is just getting above my skill set. I'm probably be just an intermediate. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, I'd rather have someone here that has, has a bit more knowledge than I, but we'll have to have another look. So here's what I'm thinking. The canoe is back through in here. We slide in through here, eddy off, in around here, and then back down through this little chute here. There's a little bit of straining in the trees here, but we should be able to get through there. But it's the shortest route, the quickest route, and uh, there's only just that little bit of slide there. And we're back through the other side of it all. But that's probably the safest route, because we can't get now to the far side, and that section in the middle has got rocks all through it. So we're going to give that a run. Fingers crossed. Okay, so let's just break this down. What I should have been doing was coming up to the left here so that I end up more parallel with the actual water running down the river. This little bush set on the right here on top of a rock is where the issue becomes. Because I can't get out paddling fast to get down uh, parallel with the actual water itself, I end up getting pushed up against that particular rock and little bush and the hip of the canoe doesn't make it past it and that's why we end up getting turned over. But a quick lesson learned. Exactly going to play it here. Shit. Absolute disaster. Absolute freaking disaster. Oh, jeez. Well, wasn't that a whole lot of fun? No. What have we lost? Well, first of all, hat's gone. One of the uh, crocs is gone. Water bottle and a paddle. They've all floated down. So I'm going to walk down around and uh, see what we can pick up on the side of the bank. I'm not holding my breath, but you never know. Now, for those of you who are thinking to yourself, this guy's an absolute maniac. What if he got out of the canoe and lost the canoe altogether and he just floated down the river? You're stuck out the middle of nowhere there all by yourself, right? So first things first, my PFD, personal flotation device, it has a Leatherman, 
and a ferro rod and striker in it. So I can make fire, I can make camp, I can make shelter, all right? So I'm not buggered out here at all. Don't get me, no, no problem there at all. Most of the stuff, most of these bags you can see on the ground here, are all actually clipped in to these sections of the canoe. So hence, they all haven't gone bouncing out. It's just the loose stuff. As I said, a croc came off my foot as I'm bouncing along the bottom of the river. Obviously the hat came off as I uh, went underwater and so forth. But I still have all my camping gear here. All I need to make fire, I can sit here for the night. I can be here for two nights, no problem at all. No drama, but here you go. As I said before, I think this is a little bit beyond my skill set. I think that might just prove it. So uh, anyway, as I said, we'll go for a walk, see what we can find anything. I'd really like to get that little aluminium paddle back because that's pretty handy in this sort of water. And the crock and the water bottle. I've got another water bottle. And I'm thinking we're going to have a look on the map and maybe call on the guys from the caravan park to come and get me if there's any access around this particular little area here. So we'll have a look. Just shows you how lucky you can be. Come down here. Look at that. There she is. There's the paddle jammed into a little tree there. We'll dig him back out. Wouldn't it be good if I could get my croc as well? That'd be a bonus. So for all those people out there saying you really should be doing this stuff in plastic canoes, you know, or plastic kayaks. Yeah, maybe not so much. They are strong, but they have their limitations as well. It'll sit on top, split in half, split sideways, lengthwise. It's absolutely beep. So yeah, not convinced that plastic that much better all the time. Just currently filming on my mobile phone. <clears throat> Got to mention also, of course, my mobile phone's always with me on my PFD. So that's zipped in tight, zipped in come out, it's waterproof. Have a look at this. We can always camp tonight. Wouldn't be the worst place to camp. Pretty damn nice, in fact. Water's down there, not going to get too wet. Push comes to shove, we can stay the night. But there is a road over this way, up over the hill here. There is a road, so we're going to go up there, paddle down a little bit further into a nice pool, and uh, we shall uh, pull over to the side somewhere, walk up onto the road, flag someone down, and then we'll get the guys in the caravan park to hopefully come back and grab us. Always have a look to make sure we haven't left anything. Nothing hanging in the trees, that's always a good sign. Let's see if we can get out of this river. Getting this paddle back was a bonus, I have to say. Alright, so, far side of the river. There is a farm up over the top here, so you can see that on Gaia. I actually downloaded the maps to Gaia, and that's, as I said, all zipped up nice and tight in my PFD here. So we just need to get down a bit further and uh, eddy out onto the far bank, walk up to the farm, get them to call the caravan park at Jack Adry. And hopefully the boys have got time to come and pick me up from there. And we will run with our little tail all the way home. It's great tales to tell. I can actually hear farm machinery, that's always a good sign. There's our red kayak on the side. It's all parked up under a tree. Really like my hat back and my Kia, uh, sorry, my Kmart croc. These damn things are expensive, it's like $4. No sign of it. No sign of the croc. Of course, she's flying a bit hard here. No sign of my hat. My hat's got $20 in it. Bugger. All good. We will follow the sounds of that tractor, see if we can get ourselves home from here. Just look and look and see if we can see anything. Unfortunately not, but there's a nice little gravel bank in front of us here, we'll pull up onto that. Keep an eye out, can we see, can we see? How cool would it actually be to get all the stuff that you dropped out of your canoe back in your canoe? It's only a water bottle, hat, one croc, all very, very replaceable, obviously, but... Hmm, doesn't look like it. A couple of little straining trees on the right here, but nothing that's gonna... Just showing the items that I require. Bugger! Let's get over this other bank here. Ooh, I can actually see a farmhouse down further. Straight ahead, in fact. We might just mosey down to that, I think. 
and a nice calm flat water here because it's a bit more time to look for those items. That is an abrupt end to a trip. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be going any further than that. I'm actually now back down on the Clarence River where I expected to end, but a lot earlier. Um, as I said on the river, that particular set of rappers was really at the upper limit of my skill set. Um, I'm a probably just a low end intermediate paddler now, and uh, that was starting to really push the envelope of my knowledge and my skill set. And clearly, going down through that chute and so forth, it was just way past what I'm able to do with a canoe and able to maneuver with the canoe and so forth. Yes, I could be kneeling up and things like that, I understand that, but it was just a bit too wild for my little canoe to get through. And uh, as I said, for my skill set. So look, that's fine. I, I only lost, you know, a croc, um, a hat and a drink bottle. That's fine, no issue at all. Got out safely, no drama at all. Had everything on me I needed for, for survival and so forth. So it really wasn't an issue from that perspective. But what it does bring back into perspective at the time, of course, is, well, do you want to keep doing this? So one, I was going to portage the actual um, gorge itself. I can't do that with one shoe. I didn't have any other footwear, so you can't go it in bare feet. Absolutely not, that's just stupid. Um, didn't have a hat, which is not good for the head. Yes, I could have improvised something, no problem at all. Made a turban out of a towel, something like that. No issue at all. And a lost water bottle, I've got a spare one, so that's not an issue at all. But the reason I'm really getting out is the safety aspect, okay? So I'm not gonna push it any further. I don't know about the rapids any further down. I do know that the um, Clarence River and the Man River join up. There's a confluence there at the top as you go up and around and head back south again. Um, and so, yeah, there was just no way of knowing how fast the water would be there. It's very, very fast here in the Clarence River now. So if there was any more rapids like that, or even worse, then I'm in a whole lot of trouble. So you're then starting to try a line around these things, which is very difficult because you haven't got a nice little narrow uh, river now. You've got a very broad river and there's less room on banks and so forth and under trees and bushes to line the actual canoe down. So that becomes a dangerous aspect as well. But luckily for me, where I was, I looked on the Gaia map and I could see a homestead there and wonderful Chris and Rachel looked after me impeccably. I walked up to the house and had a chat to Chris and he was more than happy to pick me up on his little gator and uh, go down and get the canoe and all my gear and, and uh, bring it all back up to his homestead. And then uh, the lovely Rachel then put me in a, a ute and uh, we, cut it all back to my car and they dropped me off an hour out of their way so greatly appreciate that guys I really really do thank you so much so I was very lucky I was very lucky that I was able to to test the river evaluate the river and then find out that it's it's beyond where I need to be and where I'm comfortable paddling on a river and to get out safely and to have some wonderful people look after me and get me home safely as well so of course this wraps up the video uh, thank you for watching this particular trip it's a short video obviously and um, I'll be out again in a couple of weeks time but I'm just evaluating now which rivers to go on. So the last one was too low, this one was too high. Uh, we set out at 1.3 meters, it should be about 1.1. So that's not much, but it's flowing pretty quickly. So anyway, I'll wrap it up this week. I'll see you all in the fortnight's time. Bye for now.